We already did a review on the Tribute Exxon Mega. It was bass heavy, a little bit dark, but seemed good value for money. I compared it against the Motion Plus, former pound for pound world champion. That's high praise indeed. And then you said to me, ow, and I said, what? And you said, can we hear it against the Charge 5? And I said, okay, we'll do it against the Charge 5. And they said, ow, and I said, what? And you said, can we hear it against the Sony XP33? And I said, okay, we'll hear it against the Sony XP33. And you said, ow, what? I said, yeah, can we hear it against the LG X Boom Go PL7? And I said, okay, okay, okay. And then you said, okay, ow, ow, and I said, what, what? And then you said, can we hear it against the Bose Fans X Flex? And I said, are you sure? Is that your little speaker? And you said, yes. And I said, okay, okay, okay. So, brings us to today. All five of these speakers. Popular speakers, speakers you're still interested in. The clue was you was asking about them. We're going to compare them all. Wow! In one video, yes, in one video. Well, how are you going to do that? You're going to find out. Something I do want to mention today, because in my review of the Tribit X Sound Mega, I did say some good value, 99 quid or 90 quid as it was in the UK. Do you know what? What? I just went on Amazon. Did you? Yeah, I did. 59 quid. 50? How can that be 59 pound? At £59, I'm happy to say, well, if it gets down to 50 quid, it would be my 50 quid champion, wouldn't it? Although it's a bit big, but yes, I would say that's, you can get, it's until 6th of March. Well, you might just get in, depending on how long it takes to edit this video, you may or may not be seeing this in time to know you can get it in the UK for 59 quid. But in the US, normally we get the wrong end of the stick, but you've got to pay $99. Actually, I don't see it on Amazon.com at the moment, but it is on the Tribit website. The quoting dollars, $99. So how does that compare against all these other speakers? As you can see, they're kind of the same size, but the XP33 looks a bit chunkier. That's quite a bit heavier. And that's a little, little, little speaker, and it surprises me. You want to hear it, but of course you want to, you know, we already know it's a, ba a very nice bass heavy speaker for about 150 quid. It's good to get a reference. Well, I already did it as a Charge 5, and it's not quite up to the Charge 5 uh, sound wise, but it's about a small package. In terms of size, we're under a kilo for the Charge 5 at 980 grams. The PL7, heaviest of the bunch yet, nearly 1.5 kilos. And that's a chunky speaker, because I already said, this may surprise you when you pick it up at just, uh, at just over one kilo. So about the same as the Charge 5. The little portable, that's why I say it's not really in the same league. 587 grams, it's half the weight of these others and a third of the weight of the PL7. It will be a mackerel or a miracle if indeed it can match these speakers in any shape or form. And that leaves us with the Sony XB33, 1.1 kilos. So these are all about the same, except that's a bit heavier and that's considerably lighter. So probably the most interesting in terms of comparison, but by the way, I've got to tell you, mono, we've already said mono, two passive radiators, passive radiator front and back. Mono, but woofer, tweeter, Passive radiators. So it's got a tweeter. It's the only one on this table that's got a tweeter. Of course, stereo, uh, two woofers, two passive radiators. Mono, one woofer, passive radiator, passive radiator, and passive radiator, passive radiator, two woofers. So I'm going to start with what I think is the most interesting. It's going to be the Trivet X Sound Go with lights and the, X and the JBL Charge 5 which has no lights. And the other important thing to mention before we get underway is, I was gonna do a video showing custom EQ. So I was gonna EQ that one. You can EQ in the app, well, I call it EQ. It's three band algorithm, algorithmic uh, uh, EQ, three band slider. I'm saying it's algorithmic because it's not pure up, down, up, down, it's Relative, there's some relative things going on. It's, it's an algorithm. It's not a, it's not a graphic equalizer. Can, you can EQ in the app, the PL7. Trouble is, it doesn't really work very well for me. I can't really improve the sound because it's very flaky. Why is that out? Because if you, once you go out of custom EQ, even when you're in the other modes, the custom EQ is affecting the other modes. So it's un, unpredictable is the problem with the embedded EQ for the PL7. So I'm not going to do that. I was going to EQ that, but here's the problem. I, could, I, found, I managed to get the, the app working. It is working okay now. It's working fine with this Trivet Stormbox Micro 2 with the EQ and that. For some reason, it's just given me a red app. It, it recognizes the Trivet Stormbox, the Trivet X Sound Mega, but when you go to connect, it just comes up with a red cross. I've got no idea why. I have 
emailed uh, Tribute to Ask. So I thought, you know what? Half of you say, EQ the hell out of these speakers unless they really know the headroom and what they can do. And the other half say, don't touch the custom EQ. If you touch the custom EQ, we're going to co come in the comments and we're going to complain because we want to hear what it has, what it does in default. And we don't even like the way you EQ it. Blah, 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 blah. So do you know what? Because of that, keep some of you happy. Give you an idea where you are anyway before you start EQing. All of these speakers are going to be compared in, in default mode. And that will mean, by the way, for the PL7, the standard mode, I can't remember if it's standard or sound boost by default, but the balance mode is standard mode. So I'm going to do standard mode for the PL7. So let's get on with it. Let's cut the waffle, or well, it's probably too late anyway. Dribbit X Sound Mega versus the JBL Charge 5. Massive, massive, incredible logo. Similar tuning, although you can certainly hear the differences, but in basic terms, very similar tuner, very similar tuning. I'm using, by the way, X-Bass mode because if you use audio book mode, that would be stupid. And if I used music mode, that would be a bass cut. So I'm using X-Bass mode. Now, the tuning is quite quite similar. If you look at it on a frequency response chart, you'll see and certainly that bass, that bass is almost identical. The difference would be a little bit more in terms of upper bass to the mega, a little bit more in terms of the mid bass to the charge five, and then again, a little bit more, but rolled off deep bass. But overall bass, almost almost the same and following the same sort of pattern. The real difference is we've got a tweeter on the uh, JBL charge five, and you can really hear that difference. So it comes over as a little bit more neutral, a little bit more detailed, but this is darker, maybe maybe a little bit veiled, but not really veiled, just dark because of its tuning without EQ. I don't know what you can do with the EQ. We'll find out one day. But it's it sounds more it sounds more full-bodied, bigger, fuller in the bass. That sounds a little bit brighter, but more neutral, a bit more balanced. Still, uh, given that you can get this for nearly, I think, 60 quid, and you're gonna have to pay 140 quid in the UK, and they're quite, quite similar, but yes, the Charge 5 to my ears does sound better, it messaged better. Let's get on with the next one, which will be the Bose Soundix Flex. So that's gonna be interesting, isn't it? It's a little speaker, it's half the weight, it's half the weight of the X-Sound Mega. We don't know what the power is, we, I, I think it's around 20 watts, it's gonna be around that, uh, plus or minus, a little tad, and we know the, the Mega is 30 watts. So, complete mismatch on paper. But hey ho, let's compare.
I'm going to apologise straight away to the Bose Soundlink Flex for doubting what we already know was a pretty decent value speaker for a portable, for a compact form factor. And that's really the point. Look, it's not going to shake the walls, but the sound you get out of a very safe, bass heavy sound that you get from the Bose Soundlink Flex for about 150 quid. It's not overpriced, you know, for what we are expected to pay these days. Does a good job on the move. And in terms of overall bass, it's actually got more bass. Well, that's because it's got a lot more in terms of up, over a decibel more in terms of the upper bass. It's even got a bit more in mid bass, which is incredible. It's only when it comes to deep bass, but for a lot of people, it's gonna be all that matters. When it comes to the Trivet X Sound Mega, I get confused with that. Why is some of them called X Sound? Why is some of them called Stormbox? It's gonna come over as a bit more hard edged because the highs on this particular speaker is, is not the greatest quality. Look, it's all about the bass. So there's gonna be trade-offs, of course. So the bass is a bit, the highs in terms of the vocals are gonna be a bit narrow, a bit brittle, not the not the softest. So it comes over as a bit hard edge, but it's still a decent listen, do you know that? I would actually call this a draw. Given the size of this speaker, it can match uh, in terms of the bass. It just can't go as deep. And actually the vocals probably stand out a little bit more. Not saying they're great quality vocals, but they're quite, um, not so much recessed, just veiled. It's just not tuned there. Um, and it'd be, I wanted to really see what it could do in the EQ, but I can't do that so far. So. Now onto the Sony XB33 versus a speaker quite light, but I never, the, my my issue all along, why I really rarely pick up the speaker, uh, unless someone's asked me about it, is because it, to me it sounds a bit veiled. When it came out, the bass was quite decent, but do you know what? We're really moving on in terms of what these speakers can deliver in, in the bass. So, tribute. X Sound Mega versus the Sony XB33. Oh, by the way, of course, as I said, all in default mode. That's in default mode. So that means extra bass, clear audio. Speakers here, the one that really needs the EQ the most is indeed the Sony XB33. So much for clear audio, which is supposed to be an on the fly auto EQ. Uh, yeah, it's not really doing it for me. S surprisingly, how what seemed like a reasonable bass at the time, by today's standards, it's not really there. It's a, it's a little bit muted. We're nearly two decibels up in terms of overall bass on the Mega, and it's rating supreme in terms of mid and deep bass, which is missing on the XB33. As I said, in its, when it first came out, that bass seemed pretty nice, but I have to say, it's it, it's not holding up well, showing its age, I think the XB33, but to be fair, again, it's through band slider, EQ, algorithmic, if when you go and uh, mess about with it in the app, and it would change at different volumes. So again, unpredictable what it would do, but you're gonna need to do that to really get the best out. That speaker, more than any other speakers, having said that, we don't know what the EQ will do on this speaker. That was an easy win, I think, for the Mega. It's just more pleasant sounding. You don't even notice now, well, I don't to my ears, listening to those side by side, don't even notice just how 
kind of veiled and recessed. Well, not, I keep saying recessed. It's not really recessed. It's not like far back. It's just not. It's just not there. They don't pop. The vocals don't pop. But even you don't notice that now against the XB33. Don't forget the XB33 is a chunkier old speaker. So that just leaves the rarely mentioned, but funny enough, when I pulled out the Mega, you were talking about the PL7. So still a speaker that I know you're interested in, although it doesn't get pumped up a lot in the comments. So the PL7 standard mode is the more bass heavy mode. It's the uh, more balanced mode. I know a lot of people like the sound boost mode. From memory, that sound boost mode is one of those fake modes on here. Yes, it will go louder, and it will do that by cutting the mid and the deep bass, but it will also go just louder anyway or th when you press that. So it's gonna, it sounds even more impressive when you just go between standard and sound boost mode. That's a cheat, and that's why a lot, I hear a lot of people saying, don't know why you need to standard mode, it sounds so much better in sound boost mode, because you're not matching the, the volumes. So, you know, if you love upper bass, fine, go for it. But uh, this particular test, which is what, on this speaker, it's about 70% matches, 65%. It's gonna be standard versus default. I mean, it's obviously stereo. It's got a wider sound stage. It's more immersive uh, than the Mega, but there's not a lot else going on. It, there is more detail. You can pick out more details, but of course, that's because it's bass heavy, and that's going to muddy those highs, which are not not really there it's because of the the dips in the tuning. But having said that, that's not great. That's not a great listen because certainly because of the way the the highs are tuned. It's just got a little peak at the end. Makes it sound quite electronic. Look, that's, again, like a lot of them. That's the thing, unless it's really terrible, you'll still enjoy it. If it's your only speaker, you don't have many reference points, you're gonna like all of these speakers. Once you start getting a reference point, that's not gonna sound very good at all. It's gonna sound well, bass, deep bass light, and it's gonna sound a bit brittle in the high end. But hey-ho, you will get a, a wide soundstage. It'll look like bulgy eyes like that, and it'll look quite pretty on the mantelpiece, and you can flick between sound boost and standard, and you'll probably be really, really happy just playing with a button all night long. But you know, in terms of sound, I've got to hand it to the Mega. Uh, volume, loudness for loudness matched, it wins. So let's just go over all those. What do they look like on a spectrum analysis? Play, I know I just played different tracks, but playing the same track and then comparing all of them. All speakers playing the same track overlaid. One thing that jumps right out at you is the upper bass and the lower mids of the Sony XB33 way out in front of the other speakers, along with another peak, 650 hertz, yep, with one of the steepest roll-offs, XB33, along with the PL7, way down in bass terms over the other three speakers. The mid and the upper bass of the Bose Soundlink Flex jumps out at you as being the strongest, and then it's the Mega and the Charge 5 that have the deep bass here. So break it down, speaker on speaker, Mega versus the Charge 5. Y you can look at that and almost say, the Mega is taking target the Charge 5. It looks almost the same tuning as the Charge 5, but the difference here really is the suck out, three to about six kilohertz for the Mega, where the Charge 5 is clearly stronger, and that's giving it a brighter nature, more detail. 
The Mega against the Bose Flex, and we know the Flex is very strong mid and upper bass, and that you can see. But then in the deep bass, the Mega takes over. Again, it's losing out in the clarity stakes because of that dip, 3 kilohertz to 6 kilohertz. But it is stronger through the mids. So main difference is Bose is clearly bass heavy sounding, but it's not deep bass. And you do get bit deep bass with the Mega PL7. It can't match the bass of the Mega. It has the same dip, 3 kilohertz, but all the way to about 8 kilohertz. It's even worse. And then has a peak at the end, which of course is not in the original track. It's a boost. Again, against the XB33, it's a muted bass on the XB33 in its default mode, along with a push in upper bass, lower mids. To me, that's a veiled sounding speaker in default mode. You can't afford the Boombox 2, you're waiting on the Boombox 3, and all you want is one of these speakers, and you want it to go loud. You just want to hear it. You, you, you're already partially deaf. You need you just need to go loud, 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 and not go about anything else. And so what we're going to have to do about that is a maximum volume test. Just to point out, I will now switch this into sound boost mode, which is the cheat mode, because obviously that will go louder. Automatically it goes louder when you press the button. Nothing to do with the, the tuning. It's just <laughs> the way they've, they've fiddled fiddle it, so it sounds even more impressive than it really should do. When you flick between them. So, Sound boost mode, obviously default mode, default mode, default mode, default mode, maximum volume. I cannot surrender, that ain't never in my blood. I've been running with my soldiers and we climbing to the top. Man, I will make it work and make it work and I'm like, what? You yeah, show me what you have it. Show me what you got and know that I can take it. Oh, take it through the chest. Cause I've been through some dark times, way up in the past. So I've been really funny for it all. I'm like, damn, you want to bring it up? Well, you better be a champ. Cause I, cause I keep on running through the rain. Cause I keep on going through this pain. Cause I keep Keep on carving my way, cause I keep on moving all away. Y'all just wanna stop me, but there is no way, cause I've been different, I've been marching, I'm finding myself a way. I'm running through the mountains in my time, I do not waste, cause I'll be busy working, I've been grinding, I would die Hey, oh, what you got? So it's the two speakers that at low volumes had the, the least in terms of bass, the PL7 and the XB33, that go the loudest, but it's quite clear to see, if you look at the pink of the XB33, the orange of the PL7, they're doing it because they've got big peaks, unpleasant peaks. Look at the massive peak of the XB33, upper bass and mids. That's where the volume's coming from, while having less bass than the other speakers. 
So the two loudest speakers are going to sound bright, brittle, not pleasant. The flex does hold its own in the bass. It doesn't drop its bass to try and push mids and highs for volume. It's retaining its overall character. So it remains listenable at maximum volume, just not going that loud compared to the others. And it's the Charge 5 and the Mega that really come out on top for me in this test, even though they're not the loudest, because they retain enough bass for a decent enough listen. And it's the Charge 5 that's actually the loudest because it's brighter than the Tribute Stormbox Mega, but that brightness may not sound great to you compared to the Mega at maximum volume. So the winner is the PL7. Oh, is it really? Well, the winner is the Sony XB33. Well, is it really? So in terms of sheer loudness, if, it's, if you can handle a, a shrill, thin, brittle sound, they, they are the winners. They go the loudest in terms of sheer peak because of the way that it's tuned. That has the biggest peak by far. Uh, but in terms of average average loudness across the whole track, then it's the PL7. They are the loudest, but do you know what? You know, in, you're gonna have a, you need a really good reason to be going loud and then using one of these speakers because it's not, not a pleasant listen because of the, the bass reduction on these speakers. And then you get the Soundlink Flex. Well, I know it's the quietest, but you know, it's still a pleasant listen, still pr playing pretty clean, and it's not giving up the bass. So that's nice. It, they're retaining the bass, whereas for a lot of these speakers now, it's loudness wars. You go past 80%, and that's all you're getting in terms of bass. Nope, you can't have any more. We don't care how much you pay. We're going to give you the mids and highs, because you know what? We just want it to go loud, and you like it on the beach, and your mates will go, well, both. The Bose Soundlink Flex is not is the quietest of the bunch, but it's still a decent listen, and in terms of that bass, it's holding on. It's holding its own in the bass. It's just not pushing the mids and highs. And it's not surprising because of the size of that speaker. So that leaves us with, for me, the two winners here. JBL Charge 5, the Tribit X-Sound Mega. Yes, the JBL Charge 5 goes a little bit louder, but it's also a little bit more shrieky because obviously it's, there is the bass limit there, 80%. Not such a limit on the the Tribit X Sound Mega. So a little bit, more, little bit more in terms of bass, a little bit more in terms of highs, and goes a little bit louder because of that. You're gonna to have to decide what's more important to you. But of course, that's all about maximum volume, lower volumes. I still think that JBL Charge 5 would be my, simply because of the clarity. The clarity is just too lacking for my experienced ears. But 60 quid though, that, that's, that's you, you, can't, you can't argue with that. That's, that, would be, that would be incredible if they could hold that price. So, because I think it's between these two speakers, and you might not have got the, the difference from that, uh, playing them all together, let's have a quick listen of just at maximum volume with just these two speakers. I surrender that ain't never in my blood. I've been running with my soldiers and we climbing to the top. Then I will make it work and make it work and I'm like, what? You show me what you have it. Show me what you gotta know that I can take it or take it through the chest. Cause I've been through some dark times, way up in the past. So I've been really funny for it all. I'm like, damn, you So there you go. It really is, do you want a bit more of a bright sound or do you want a bit more in terms of deep bass at maximum volume? Or, you know, if it's simply about loudness, go for one of these Screech Fests. That's not a Screech Fest, but those two are. So we, we've covered almost everything. You should know by now where we stand. For me, that's a great value travel compact speaker. That's the best sounding speaker on the table. And that's maybe the best value on the table. Other things we haven't mentioned, they're all made in China except for the Soundlink Flex. That's made in Thailand. In terms of the price, I think we covered it. 140 quid UK, 180 dollars US. The PL7, 97 pound or 115 dollars. And that's me checking today. Don't go and look and then two weeks later or two years later and say, well, it's not that price now. And of course not, it was today when I was looking. Sony XB33, 90 quid, 99 pound, 128 dollars. 
that leaves, I think I said 149, 149 quid, $149. And that leaves the, the cheapest on the table, which is the Mega, 90 quid, but I could actually get that for 59 pounds today. Absolutely incredible. Or $99, not on amazon.com, I can't see it, but I did see it on the website for $99, which in dollars is still uh, the cheapest. The, the one big downside for this speaker that you should be aware of, because mono, 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 if you, put, if you hook up another one, you get stereo, hook up another one, you get stereo, but there's no stereo. <laughs> what? What's that all about? I just come out with a speaker that's got Bluetooth 5 point, I thought it was 5.3, but I've got 5 down here. Oh, that was the Micro 2, wasn't it? So Bluetooth 5, party mode only. So I think you, there's another one where you can do like 100 speakers or whatever, but you can't do two in stereo. What is that all about? That was a shocker to me. And that's, <laughs> that's like uh, the elephant in the room or the party pooper if you like, because for a lot of people, given the price, it's mono, you can EQ it in the app if you're gonna get it to connect, which I can't, but you can't do stereo. Oh, what a, what a shock of a miss. In terms of battery capacity, that's the problem with the uh, Flex, only 11 watt hours, but it's a small speaker, but that's still a small battery compared to the Mega at 29.2 watt hours is the biggest battery on the table. Then we've got the PL7, if you really wanna get that. 29 watt hours, then we got the charge five, 27 watt hours, followed by the biggest there, but smallest in terms of battery of the bigger speakers at just 20 watt hours. But here's the thing, all the time we're saying, oh, but you get the SBC, why is it SBC? And that's all we get, and that's all we get. But oh, Sony being Sony, you've got to put your hands up and say, well done, LDAC. You get the LDAC, Kodak, well, mm, Kodak, does it? Kodak, but mm, did it make a difference? <laughs> Not really. The PL7, by the way, even on my Android, defaults to AAC. The others, all SBC. Oh, got USB-C connections, but that's <laughs> still used to saying, oh, isn't that great? And of course, it's, it's hit, we're years on already from when we didn't have USB-C and we were first getting, the, getting them, and we oh, wow, I'm gonna get that, it's got USB-C. Because if, if it, it would be a hell of a shocker now if it didn't come with USB-C. For a lot of you, all that matters is, has it got an auxiliary input? Well, we do have one on the PL7, and we do have one on the Mega. All can be used as a power bank, except for the Bose Soundly Flex. All can be used as a phone speaker, except for the JBL Charge 5. With the JBL Charge 5, where they used to give us, let us use it as a phone. What's the matter? What's that all about? JBL, we won't give you features, we won't give you features. Don't get that at all. We've got lights on the PL7, we've got lights on the XP33, and we've got lights on the Mega, in terms of official power ratings, but you know, it's only a hint of what it may be doing. 40 watts for the JBL Charge 5, 30 watts for the PL7, we think 30 watts for the XB33, we think maybe 20 watts for the Flex, and 30 watts we know for the Mega, but how they're measuring it, that's another matter. In terms of, do they float? Well, they all float except for the PL7, and why doesn't it float? Well, because I didn't test it, because it's only IPX5, so not for dropping in a pool or the sea or your bath. But in terms of the ones that do IP7, the charge, my version of the JBL Charge 5, and I'm saying that because different versions may or may not float. Some, my, my Flip 6 didn't float, that version. Someone was slamming me for saying it. Oh, apparently I'm a liar. I'm a liar, even though I show you the float test. That's the mentality of some of these commenters. If you're gonna troll, make it a good troll. But uh, yeah, just know that different versions, same as the Flip 5, different versions, some floated, some didn't. So actually, they, they all float. As I said, that, you're not gonna get tested because it's IPX5 only. And of the ones that float, only the XB33 floats with the drivers up so you can still play it. The others will be safe in the water, but it's not much good for playing your actual music. We talked about the drivers. It's only the Charge 5 that's got the tweeters. It's only the Mega that's got the titanium drivers. In terms of YouTube, <laughs> it's actually really awful, 200 milliseconds. 125 milliseconds, also not good for Charge 5. 75 milliseconds is acceptable on the XP33. 60 milliseconds is very good for the PL7. And 50 milliseconds is brilliant for the Bose Soundlink Flex. We talked about the ones that have EQ in the app, which is the Mega, if you can get it working, the Charge 5, but it's an, a log it's an algorithmic slider thing. It's, I'm not gonna call it a graphic equalizer, it isn't, but you can, you can, let's say you can mess with the tuning in the app. Same for the Sony. 
Same for the PL7, but it was very unpredictable what it did and it carried over. I don't know if they fixed that or not, but I haven't gone in to mess with it, not least because it's not a speaker. I'm gonna be playing with at all, really outside of comparisons. Not good enough by, t by today's standards. And you can do the EQ. So that's a wrap. That's all these speakers. Five speakers, one video. Alan Ross Reviews. Tell everybody where you saw it. Spread the word. Hope to see you in another video. I ain't got their life. I ain't got their life. I ain't a project wife. Got my logic right because I'm not your type. I ain't got their life. I ain't got their life. Sorry, my I ain't get it right. I'ma just live my life. I ain't about that. I ain't about that life. Uh.